Hi there, everyone. This is your psychic, Christine Wallace. I am so glad you're here. I'm so excited about my upcoming event. June 21st will be our first Tea and Tarot Tuesday garden party. Yep, you heard me right. Tea and Tarot Tuesday garden party. So what that means is I am going to be offering tea and tarot combination readings to my guest. We're also going to have hors d'oeuvres, beverages, free gifts come with some of the tickets that are available where I will, you know, pick which gifts are actually best for you and whatever it is that I find out through your reading, like if there are certain crystals you need, certain candles and whatnot, that will all be included. So basically you're going to get a free gift bag and we are also going to have, I just need to confirm that so don't hold me to it, but I know we have a wine vineyard here in uh, Pennsylvania and they wanted to set up a booth for wine tasting and they also make their own wine. So we're gonna have wine tasting, hopefully. We're gonna have a live speaker, that's for sure. We're going to have uh, a meditation class. We're going to have a yoga instructor. You're gonna be able to get your chakras balanced and this is all gonna take place at the Morris Hotel on 8th Street. But to get all of the details of this upcoming event, go to my website, psychicreadingexpert.com. Go ahead to the events page, and that's where you buy your tickets to the event. And remember to use your code because being a listener here on my podcast, you should get some specials, right? <laughs> so all capital. Tea Time Tuesday 21. Again, Tea Time Tuesday 21, all capital. This will be your code to use to get 50% off of your tickets to come to the event. I also, on my website, have started a horoscope page a weekly horoscope page so please be sure to have a look at that and the horoscope page for this summer will be all about love so go ahead and check that out uh, let me see I think I have some other stuff going on as well I added a few different features you can listen uh, to my website directly I mean, listen to my podcast directly from the website as well. Also, if you want to book a reading with me, you should go through the website. You'll uh, have to answer some questions that'll help us along in getting your readings done. The most popular service that I have is obviously the tea leaf reading in combination with the tarot cards. And the other one is the Psychic Tarot Combination Reading. Okay, so I am looking forward to serving you very soon with all of this. So moving forward, what we want to do here in this episode is we want to do some healing affirmations. And these will help you and please come back to this episode anytime you need to use these affirmations they are very good i do post as many of my subscribers here to the podcast mantras every so often we do like to work on in manifestation manifesting good energy manifesting positive love and freedom from any blockages and negativity so these here are different. These are self-affirmations. So 
What I'd like you to do right now is simply take three deep breaths, breathing in positive energy through your nose. Then we want to go ahead and exhale any negativity, confusion, and burden, anything that's heavy on you. Exhale that from your mouth, and let's do that three times. Inhale positive energy through your nose, and then exhale negative energy from your mouth. So I will go ahead and give you an opportunity to do that, and then we'll start with our affirmations. Okay, so here's our first affirmation. And when we're doing affirmations or any prayers, we should always start with counting our blessings and realizing all the blessings that we already do have and show our appreciation and that we're grateful. So please repeat after me now. I am grateful. I realize that what is right about my life outnumbers what I perceive to be wrong about my life. I choose to focus on what makes me feel good. I am grateful. I am worthy, I am enough, and I am worthy of receiving everything I desire. I do not need to prove myself to those who would seek to diminish me. I am worthy. I am worry-free. I release worry over things I cannot control. Instead, I choose to focus on things that are pleasing to me. When I release worry, I allow room for solutions to enter my life. I am worry free. I am happy. I take control of my happiness. When my happiness depends on others' actions, I am at the mercy of things I cannot control. Instead, I choose to cultivate consistent happiness by focusing on the things I love about myself. I am happy. I am transformed. I see the beauty of change. Everything I have been through transformed me into who I am today. I am so much braver. I am so much more caring. I am so much more emotionally intelligent. I am so much more open. 
I will continue changing and improving. I am transformed. I am free. I release myself from the thoughts and feelings that have held me back. Any guilt, shame, embarrassment, self-doubt, and fear that I harbor, I release. Today I am free. Let's move forward with the breathing exercise one more time. Breathing in positive energy through your nose, exhaling negative energy from your mouth. Three more times. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for being here, listening to this podcast. I hope that you find all of these episodes very helpful and enlightening on your spiritual journey. It is so important to be strong in spirit. It's all mind, body, and spirit, and to try to exercise all three so that they are working in harmony. And in one way with the universe, we need to work with the universe and not against it. And when we are on the correct path and in harmony with the universe, the universe does rise up to support us. Also, remember in previous episodes how I talked about how accidentally we can manifest negativity without us even realizing. When we speak a lot of negative about ourselves, think a lot of negative things about ourselves and about our futures, unknowingly we can sometimes manifest these things to actually come to fruition without wanting to. So be sure, ladies and gentlemen, that you are always speaking good and speaking from the heart, thinking positive, speaking positivity, and whenever you find yourself falling into the loop of a negative cycle of uh, self-sabotaging thoughts and behaviors, Remind yourself of what you might be doing and try to keep in line with the light and positivity. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen. I want to wish each and every one of you the very best of luck.